Black Power. It's your brother, Saw Rob Sue and Seti, and I'm back at y'all ass again with this real fucking talk. Black Power Alert. Black Power Alert. Your brother, the General Saw Rob Sue and Seti, will be pulling up in Brooklyn, New York, March 25th. Have your ass in the place. Have your ass in the place. Talk about religion, the rape of African spirituality. It, it, I mean, this is where our people is losing, okay? This is where our people is losing, really. Religion is the biggest obstacle to our people's unity right now, today. Bottom line, it's religion. It, 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 it divides our people. In, in, in every faction of society, from clothing, from language, huh, from belief. You understand now? We 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 arguing over the uh, patriarchal deity versus the matriarchal deity, and you know, uh, some people still clinging on to Christianity, still clinging on to Islam. Excuse me, Islam and Judaism and all the other religions of the oppressor. And so until we as a people can share, share the disgraceful religions of our oppressors, the same religions that the oppressor practiced while he raped and murdered our people, until we share those disgraceful religions, we will not ever, ever be free. And so it is clear that that is the epicenter of the, the black racist defeat in 2012. And so I got to go there. I got to go into the deepest crevices of the African mind and wage war with the oppressor who has chiseled his image as God in our mind. If you tell me what religion you belong to, I can tell you what stankin' ass Pecklewood got you, all right? All of those religions were started by a European. Now let me tell you exactly what a religion is. All religions are man-made, okay? All these holy books were written by men or women, okay? I don't want to leave the queen out. You know what I'm saying? So all religions were made by men and women. Uh, all these holy books were written by men and women. And the man and the uh, and woman that wrote that religion, designed that religion, they predetermined the outcomes of those who believe in it, okay? And so, just like, you know, some type of spell that pulls our peoples in, into these books and trap them just like the genie in the lamp. You got to understand that religion is the biggest form of witchcraft practice on the planet. Okay? It's an illusion to make you think that it is the word of God when in actuality it's the word of the goddamn devil. Okay? You got to understand that. That all religion and all deity were made by me. So when you go into a religion and it says God said it, and God said it, and God said it, God ain't said a goddamn thing. It's the man behind the goddamn smoke and mirrors that's right. And so the man or the woman that creates the religion predetermines the outcomes of those who believe in the religion. Predetermine your outcome. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why we are failing. Religion is the dogmatization, the, the formalization of spirituality. When a man take rules and regulations and he punish those who, who do not follow the rules and regulations of his said religion. You understand what I'm saying? It, 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 it pushes certain peoples out of the, the blessings of God and shuns them and, 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 and demonizes whole races. See, this is what's happening. You understand what I'm saying? And you go in their book, and their book say that they are chose. Well, where your goddamn book? Where's your book at that say you were chose? 
There are literature on this planet that speak of the African race being the chosen race. Why we not open up these goddamn books? Huh? Motherfuckers running around here with Jesus. Running around here with Allah. Running around here with, with Jehovah. All of them speak to a holy land outside of Mama Africa. We got to get that shit up. There is no land on this planet more holier than the land of Africa. That's the bottom goddamn line. There is no land on this planet more holier than, that, than Africa. And we got to go there because the science of our ancestors is still there. M mocking time. Mocking time. But we don't go. And so we quote from the peck of wood. You tell me what religion you belong to, I can tell you what stinking ass cracker got you. And then you will worship these crackers every day, all goddamn day. And when the brothers step up to say that the black woman is God, you motherfuckers twist your, your fat ass lip up. Got something slick to say about the queen, but you ain't got shit to say about that stinking ass peck of wood you got up on the wall as God. I got to go in and tell you. I got to cut into your ass like never before. Because, you know, you deep, you deep asleep. Nigga, you in a deep, deep, deep sleep. And I got to wake your ass up. And the only way you can wake a man up that's in such a deep sleep, you got to scream on his ass. And so I intend to come through Brooklyn like a madman with the knowledge of self, the knowledge of the ancestors. The things that I do is ordained by the ancestors. I come with the goddamn documentation. I don't come in here just to chitter chatter. I can stay my ass at home for that and do a goddamn video. 10 minutes, I don't get up and leave my home to go anywhere. When I leave, it goddamn it, and I pack my shit up, I'm going to war. I'm coming to Brooklyn to go to go to war with the adversaries of black power, black unity, and the black family. I'm going to war with you. And so I don't give a fuck what you are. If you're holding on to any one of them goddamn religions, when you get there, goddamn it, expect that the flamethrower will be coming all across the goddamn the arts, cultural arts center. You can believe that. It'll be a flamethrower coming through there. I intend, because you shit on Africa every goddamn day, I don't give a fuck about none of you motherfuckers. At all. Okay? Shit on Africa constantly. 24 hours, 365. As soon as a soldier stands up and defends Africa and take a shot back, you motherfuckers cry to goddamn blue. Fuck you motherfuckers. It's time for the rise of African people in every sense of the word. In every sense of the word. And so they say, Seti, how is the black woman God? Because God is the creator. You ever seen a goddamn man create a baby? You dumbass motherfucker. What the world, why we gotta go through this? Huh? If every man on this planet came from a woman, huh? That means every man on the planet, if you got a navel, a woman preceded you. What goddamn all that other shit you got in your motherfucking head when you came of age? That shit wasn't tied to your ass when you came through the womb, nigga. Wake your silly ass up. Wake your silly ass up. When it says, uh, uh, God created the heavens and the earth. And it, and it was dark. And the spirit of God moved on the face of the waters. The waters is the embryonic fluids of our sacred pregnant African woman. Okay, the book opens up in the womb, okay? So when you're looking at the woman, when you're looking at the woman, you're looking at the symbol for creation. When you look at the phallus, you are looking at the symbol of resurrection. Two different sciences, family. Both important, both important. But nevertheless, when a child comes through the womb, her the first, Entity that it calls on. It calls on its God. It's sustainer. And so the natural order of the universe provided the black woman with that divine responsibility to be the sustainer. And so I hear all these other deities being called the sustainer. The first sustainer ever in existence was the black woman. Huh? The first when you long before any mezzanine. Climbed to the top of any minaret and cried out for Allah millions of years, 
millions of years before that, an African child came through the womb of an African woman and cried out for the African woman as God. Stronger than any other love. The first love in the world is between a child and his mother. 